Kia ora boys, how's it going? This is going to be an explainer video showing you how to do uh, the planning sheets for task 1 of Achievement Standard 1.1. Now you can find all of this information in OneNote under the content library. It says Achievement Standard 1.1 internal and then I'm going to look at the planning sheets. So this is task 1. For this assignment, first of all, you need to choose your key development. Now, if you don't understand what I mean by key development, you need to look at the previous video where I explained all the instructions. Now, for my assignment, I really would like to do um, the Cold War. I think that's a pretty interesting thing. I learned about that in Year 10 Social Studies, so I'm going to choose the Cold War. The Cold War. Oh, look at that. I've already finished Task 1A. I've just chosen my key development. Scroll down. Task 1B. I need to make a list of places that I'm going to go to research and find information. I'm going to need one, two, three, four different places where I plan to go and get information from. In the fifth row, I'm going to find someone to interview. And it has to be a person who I know and a person who was alive in the 1960s. So, for the first one, I'm just going to have a think. Uh, it's not going to be too difficult to think of a place to go to get information about uh, the 1960s. Of course, I'm going to go to the library. Okay. Christchurch City Library, Tūranga in town. Great, they'll have lots of books. On a rainy day, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to find some books on the 1960s. Okay, second one. Now, I'm tempted to write the internet. But that's not correct. I need to be more specific than that. Don't put the internet. Also, don't put Google. Not specific enough. Get rid of that. What I am going to put is specific websites. So one of the first places I could go look is Wikipedia. Because that's got a whole bunch of information on the 1960s. I want you to now think of two others two other places where you can go to find information on this. Now in the bottom one, a person I will interview is. Now, my granddad was alive in the 1960s, so I'm going to interview him. I'm going to pick up the phone, I'm going to ring him, and I'm going to ask him how the developments of the 1960s affected him and affected New Zealanders. I'm going to make a whole other video on how to interview people coming up. So I'm going to put Grandad John, because Grandad John was alive in the 1960s. Now here in this column it says ways this source may be useful, which focusing questions will it answer? So there's a double barrel question there. How will the library be a useful place to get information and which focusing questions will it answer? So I think the library will be useful because it contains uh, books on the 1960s. Now the library doesn't just contain books, it also has people who I can talk to, also has librarians who can assist me in finding libraries also have newspapers so something that's really useful about a library the librarians will help you find li you find out the date that JFK was shot in the face you go to a library and say I'd like to see the press on that day in 1960 and they'll bring you the press front page JFK shot in the face newspaper front page of the main events. Now, because this question is double barreled, it says not only ways this source will be useful, it says what focusing questions will this answer? Well, this will be useful in answering focusing question one and three.
and I've just finished the first one. So not only have I talked about ways this source will be useful in helping me research, I've specifically said which focusing questions it will answer. Complete that page with about, you know, four or five lines of typed information, no less, for all of these rows and columns. How will interview of Grandad John be useful to me? And which specific focusing question will he be able to answer? Now, if you're wondering, what are you talking about focusing questions? I don't know what that is. You should go back to the first video where I explained the three focusing questions. It's here on the instruction sheet. Here we go. There are your three focusing questions. One, two, three. And if you do all of that, that is your planning sheets done. You've just completed task one. Well done.